Good morning students. In the last class we have learned some animal figure drawings. So today we are going to use it in a composition. Okay. We will use it and we will make it like a uh, like you know landscape and all the animals are there. Then we are going to color that. So for that at first you will write date. It's 9, 9, 21. And now we are going to start the drawing. So at first the giraffe. Giraffe is here. legs straight some spots on its body and a tail then this legs eyes nose and the mouth Elephant body will be like this, then the legs, and then how to make the head. It's round like this, and then straight, then again round, and now slowly the this is trunk of the elephant. Ear, one ear, this is the ear from the behind, this is teeth, so I'm going to do the teeth like this, this is the tail, now the zebra. Oval shaped face and oval shaped body. Very simple zebra, isn't it?
see the cat body has just two circle okay then the leg and ears are like triangle shape then the nose and a, a, like you know the mouth the cat then the monkey monkey hands i'll do it at first okay here will be the head of the monkey which is circle in shape and the body of the monkey which is oval in shape then the leg will be this way and the other leg like this hand the other hand ear eyes and the mouth now the drawing is complete we will color it now for the coloring at first the animals we will color it at first all the animals will be colored I'm just using the brown color wherever I have to use it. cat nose will be black in color otherwise rest of the cat will have just brown color now after completing this brown then we will start using the yellow color wherever we have to use it on the giraffe body yellow color then on this tiger yellow color now some pink color pink here on the nose on the monkey's face pink color then black color black color on the zebra stripes Then also on the elephant, elephant you can use some grey colour. So the animal coloring is complete. Here is some more black color on the zebra. 
on the ears, also black color. Now we will start using some um, brown color on the trees. So one side of the tree we will use the brown color. Then the other side will have yellow color. And uh, some black color in this side this is the shadow part of the tree okay one side has very bright light and the other part is a little dark So this is how we color the tree. After coloring the tree, we will use the yellow color on the top of the grass. that some orange color just right below the yellow color some orange color we will use And then some light green. Here also we can uh, draw some plant with dark green like this. As if some small plants are there in front. then dark leaves with dark green only the leaves we will do
also you can use some black color on the stem yeah like this then after this you can use some <coughs> red or maybe the dark pink color here on the plant to show some red flower or fruits now here I'll, I'll give some brown color to show some land around the brown color I will use just this light green color now everywhere I will use light green Okay. After this, on the tree, again yellow color on the top of the tree. Just little bit of yellow. Then we will use the light green color. Then the dark green color. And some dark blue color just under the tree so like this the coloring of the tree is done you can use the uh, light green color in a uh, this circular way also so that we can feel that there is some leaves are there it will give some texture Now in this leaves we can use the dark green color. Leaves that the giraffe is eating. Okay. After this uh, light blue on the sky. Here, um, here we can do it like little bit pink in color. To show it as a sunset sky, sunset sky, light pink color.
okay so now this is complete now we will go to the next page also you can just uh, give some outline in this animals black outline it will make the animals uh, look more prominent like this so just outline after that the next page so coming to the next page again we will write date on the top of the page and in this page we are going to learn about greeds so how to use greed greed is this okay like this kind of lines are formed to uh, see the exact size or wherever the lines are going how it is going in through which box it's going so that we can find out the exact locations of the line that's why grids are used okay to do the exact and proper drawings so now we are going to use this grid technique over here also so we will see this drawing where and how the lines are flowing and we will repeat it here okay so we will try to do the exact thing over here the drawing so so that we can learn this technique of using this grid so at first we will uh, do this shape okay for this shape we have to find out exactly in which uh, square this uh, line is starting okay so it is in one two three four five then one two okay so from here one two three four five one two so from this square it is starting and the position of this is here okay so we will just put dots like this everywhere the uh, line is flowing see here then here so it's very like you know uh, this is the easiest way to use the grid like this we will use the dots everywhere how the line is flowing so we will just kind uh, we will try to use the dots to make the line through these dots now we will create the line okay this is uh, this line we have made it here and after that okay let's check 1 2 3 4 5 one two three four five okay after this uh, now this shape we will make okay this mouth 
this like uh, this is the chick of this squirrel so um, here at first this point we will find out so it's little up till here the point and then this point so it's here then um, So it will go round till here come back okay now let's do it same like this it will go till here and if here then it will come back Now the nose mouth and the teeth. After this, the head of this uh, squirrel. So it will start from here. Here one point and there is one point. And it will go uh, through this. It will... Height will be till here. Okay, so like this it will go and it will meet here. Now eyes. After this ears. Then hands. Now the legs, legs are starting from here and then it goes round like this and it will come till here. So let's do it round like this and it will come till here. Then from here this point one more line which will Like this. 
another leg. Now the tail, tail will be from here, then points, I'll make the points. So that it will be easy for me to follow the tracks and do the shape. Okay, so the drawing is finished now we will color this now for coloring you will use the uh, skin color here teeth will be white teeth you will not color anything inside the teeth and the nose will have black color this area will have skin color and this part also will have the skin color After this, uh, the hands, both the hands and this area will have brown color. Legs also will be brown color and the tail, face and the outside of this ears will have the brown color. On the tail, if you want, then you can use also dark brown color. Okay, just this area inside. You can use the dark brown color if you want. And uh, inside this ears, you can use light pink. So coloring will be like this. Very simple coloring. Like this you will complete this coloring. Okay. Now we will go to the next page again. Now in the next page, we are going to learn how to make a drawing using dots. Okay. So it's page 24. You will again write date. 
then uh, we will uh, start it from the top okay so here we can see how many dots we have to leave from here one two three four after leaving four dots one two three so here we will start the first line okay so here same from here we will count one two three four one two three so from here again uh, three points are joining together in a straight line one two three so this three will join in a straight line this three one two three in a straight line hmm. now see here it's little curved this line so it's joining here this point so how it's joining it's curved line like this now again a straight line then again one curved line so now same thing here also one curved line then again one straight line and then one again very curved line now straight line and this is diagonal line okay so one two three four so this points this line is going diagonally not straight one two three four till here one straight line after this one again very curved line which is the tail of the bird then again three points are joining in a straight line again straight line down three points are join, joining uh, in a diagonal line okay after this again four points are joining one two three four now there is a very long curve is there so how the curve is going that also we have to follow in this picture so it's going like this then like this here one curved line then two straight then one like this very long um, this line will be so here it's like this see one two three but it's not going straight but uh, just one dot inside so the line will come in this way here again like this so this is the basic shape of the bird we got it now now the wings inside here three dots will be straight straight diagonal lines okay now this side also three dots straight now here is a curved line like this now again a curved line from here to here one straight diagonal line then here one like sleeping line okay after this the leg of the bird now the beak is there we have to do it's a triangle shape here and the eye will be just around this dot a uh, circle then uh, 
okay so the drawing of the bird is done using dots now you can color it in a very simple way you can use some very basic colors like you can use the yellow for this area okay this face and everything you can do it yellow but inside the wings you can do some like orange and red color here orange and in this place red and the beak with again red color you can do it so this is the very basic coloring of this bird but the main thing is that how to use the dots to make the drawing okay this is the main thing in this work so do the drawing properly hmm? now after completing this work send me in the google classroom okay so for today bye